right now. You just take two objects. Yep. Here we go. Preferably then, round. Toss them in the air. And preferably, ooh, not too hard. Oh, not bad. Then switch it up. Oh, that's <laughs> so Take nine. Nine. <laughs> He's kidding. We do everything in one take. So this is the way we've appeared for more than ten years, hosting Evening Magazine, much the way we're doing it now, appearing in locations much like this one through the years. We have taken you around the world, and we've taken you to every county and practically every city and neighborhood in the Bay Area. Well, well we've met a lot of friends. After along ten the way years, too. the least we could do is show you how we we could do is show you how we do this. Let's start with the camera. This is the behind the scenes. Notice Jan is talking into this camera, but there's no teleprompter and there are no cue cards, right, Gary? This is our cameraman, Gary. Here, we never use cue cards. We, we never use a teleprompter. What we say comes from the heart. What Jan is saying, she's actually thinking at the time. The way it gets to the camera is right here. Thank you, Jan. This is a radio transmitter, a tiny little battery-operated device that takes what she's saying through her microphone and broadcasts it around behind our producer here. We'll get to him in a minute. To this little recording deck. This is Steve, our sound technician. Hi, Steve. He's monitoring through these headphones to make sure that Jan's voice isn't covered up by, say, a passing automobile or a passing jet plane. Through the years, we've learned to avoid Volkswagens and fighter planes. This is our trusty Evening Magazine van. There are a thousand stories inside here, more than 100,000 miles, and we've taken this throughout the world, too. You can notice our wardrobe in there, too. Actually, this is our dressing room away from home. These, of course, adoring fans. Yes. We like to take them along wherever we go, too. The camera, by the way, is much the same as the camera you'd use at home, but so much more expensive and higher quality. That is not to say we haven't dropped it into the surf in Hawaii or strapped it to the wing of an airplane. In fact, we've strapped Gary to the wing of an airplane here. And this is our producer, Michael, who is holding our reflector here. Michael is also the guitarist in the Evening Magazine band. Now, the reason we do this is if we're out on location like this, we can't just plug a light into the wall. There is no wall. So we use this reflector. It reflects the sun's light on us. See that? No reflection on you. And it gives Jan that certain glow, right? A suntan. Yes, and that's why she looks so healthy all the time. There you have it. This is our set away from home. And here now, our favorite location that has served as our studio day after day. And here he comes. Bambini. See you tomorrow night in Kyoto. Good evening and welcome once again to Australia. I can't believe we are actually here. From the north shore of Lake Tahoe. <laughs> I feel like I need a shoulder holster and a couple of days growth of beer. You're going to eat that? I don't know. I had such a great time. <laughs> Good evening, I'm Richard Hart. And I'm Jan Yanagi. <laughs> Have a great evening. It's awful. Oh my God. <laughs> you did the same thing to me in Hawaii with the boys. That's right, yeah, but I didn't do this. <laughs> Probably the oldest toy that is still in big demand is clay. Oh, no, oh, no, oh, no. Also, the whale's heart beats only nine times a minute. The fastest fish in the world. Tugger. You look perfect. Well, Von Valerino, for sure. Huh? <laughs> by the way, if you go out the stage door, there's a line of rats protesting out in front. Okay, they're holding time. You know, there are some things that will always remain the same on this show, no matter what they call it. And that is that Jan and I will still continue to push each other out of airplanes, <laughs> off of bridges. And... You know, like I've often said, that we have the best job in the world. Because True. we got paid to travel, to meet celebrities, to stars. But on the other hand, we're also compelled to do things sometimes we just assume not. Well, because the, the producers told us we had to. Here's what we mean. <laughs> Something that has always made for special moments has been our spirits of adventure. Hi, adventure. Jesus. You know, I just had this funny thought. We're going to jump off this bridge on a bungee cord. <laughs> That'll be ridiculous.
Can tenor a little bit like that, Richard? All right, great ride. Can I park this thing here? The only thing I'm slightly nervous about is the landing. And celebrities have made for some of our more celebrated moments. You're on your fourth marriage. Right. You've messed up three. And you've admitted that. Wait a minute. I didn't say I messed up three. I said I those three. I read that three. in one of these articles. I said that. Yes, in one well, of these articles. I messed up two of them. No, actually, I probably messed up all three of them. It is true. Hi, guys. The only consistent thing about the shows in the other countries is that Magnum always has a deeper voice than I do. <laughs> My life is certainly never dull, and it's certainly never boring. What's Joan like today, as opposed to two years ago? Much happier. First of all, I love it. Secondly, it's a, it's a different role than I've ever played. You're here in your dressing room. You're all made up all dressed up. You're going to walk out that door now onto the stage. What's the last thing you do? Is there anything you run down in your mind? Is my fly zipped. <laughs> That's your last thought. <laughs> yeah. And the ever-brave, ever-hardy Richard has given us some pretty crazy moments. Yeah, put him in. Put him in. Get your head. Get the head between your teeth and put, put it right in and crush him. Eat him. Chew him. Get him in the back and that it. And, oh, that's beautiful, isn't it? <laughs> It's, it's, um, it's... <sighs> but personally for me, some of my favorite moments were very tender. Children's Hospital of San Francisco. Enter the world of the newborn intensive care unit. A place where miracles are performed every day. Here, skilled medical teams work round the clock to save the sickest and tiniest of babies, some weighing only a pound. And today, they expect to take her off to the restaurant. Yeah. I can't wait to see her without it. I haven't seen her whole face. For the last two years, Sister Julie, Brother Toby, and Sister Marty have been bringing babies with AIDS home to the place they call Star Cross Community. Wow! Oh, aren't you a big girl? Some moments were very real. We were at Lake Tahoe to do a story on Lee Taylor. He wanted to set a record as the fastest man on water. He died trying to do it. Now he's going to on Evening Magazine, we've seen a life begin, a birth. We've seen life end. We've seen everything that happens to people in between. It's not scripted. We're not doing a movie and we don't say, all right, here's what we're going to do and then act it out. We just let the cameras roll and real stuff happens. And sometimes when that real stuff happens, it's not what we would have liked to happen or wanted to happen, but that's real life. And for me, that's the greatest thing that you can share with other human beings is real lives. And you know, the wonderful thing for us, Dan, was that not only did we get a chance to show our audience these people's lives, but we were there. We had a chance to actually join in and that's something that not many people get a chance to do well what can we say we're proud of the 13 years of calls for a celebration yeah so we got people to thank places to go so stay with us